Handling two sickles is actually more difficult than handling two katana because you must control the direction of the handle by turning your wrists. And welcome to Lasas Sei Sensei. I love your host Shogo from Lasas Shogo, and this is Sei Sensei. In our Ryuha style, we handle not only the katana, but also the Joe staff, Tamagusari chain balls, and Kama sickles. So today, Six and Say, the 22nd headmaster of Asayama Shindu with 400 years of history, will introduce our fighting techniques with two Kama sickles. Other Ryuha styles fight with a single Kama, but fighting with two is quite rare. Please watch this video until the end to discover the techniques that can only be done with the two Kama sickles. So then, let's get started. The tip of the sickle immediately reached Tsukawa-san's forehead. Let's ask Sisensei about the details of this kata. <laughs> handling two sickles is actually more difficult than handling two katana because you must control the direction of the handle by turning your wrists. The way you attack is different too. Unlike how you cut with the katana, you must stab with the sickle. So the movement of the sickle is less of swinging towards the opponent, but dropping the tip towards him. You can see that the handle of the sickle is almost vertical when Six Sensei attacks. But of course, the Kama has its unique strengths too. Because the blade of the sickle functions as a hook, it can catch and pull the opponent's weapon much easier than the katana. It is much more difficult for the opponent to move his weapon because it is captured in the hook. Sei was moving the sickles in a unique way. What was it for? こういうふうに蝶が羽を広げたり閉じたりすると。Waving the two sickles over your head like butterfly wings is a technique to try to lure your opponent to attack you. This time, you move both of your sickles to the left and stab the throat with your right sickle. By the way, we introduced a similar technique in a video introducing two katana style techniques, but that was called takanoha, meaning falcon wings, and movements are slightly different. But I know what you're thinking. What do you do if he attacks when the wings are open, right? If the wings are closed, you attack by opening the wings. And if the wings are opened, you attack by closing the wings. This is a kata for you to learn the mechanism of how this works. The sickles almost look like fangs in this kata. This is absolutely something you can only do with two sickles. これ相手が正面に行ってくるね。それを右の釜で千鳥に交わしながら背で端っこを。誰と張り合いに今度こっちの交わけさに切ってくる。これをこっちへこう。で、今度巻き返して正面に行くとこうこの釜が上を狙って
The left sickle is pointed toward the opponent's forehead, and the right sickle is hooked on the opponent's wrist. Even if the opponent tries to swing down from here, because you've dodged diagonally, you're not under the attack. Although we tend to focus on the unique movements of the sickles, the most important lesson of this kata is the footwork. You can learn how to efficiently parry your opponent's attacks with minimal movements, while learning how to counterattack. Skara-san was instantly pulled down, and his katana hit the floor. How did it happen? You move your right sickle like a can opener and move your body to the side, switching from your right foot forward to your left foot forward. His upper body is greatly off balanced because of the strong central force exerted on his wrist. You will slice the wrist and also have the other sickle pointed toward the opponent's back. But again, the biggest lesson is the footwork, which is the most complicated among all the kata we introduced today. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. いや、すごい役に立ちました。特にこの釜の形状上こう相手をこうすごい効く。あれ、聞きます。換気リみたいにザクッといくんでね。そうですね。はい。実際の釜であったらもうそれをされながら攻撃もされているということに。なりますし。